NASA just released the first crystal clear image of 3i Atlas and it is not what anyone expected. The James Webb Space Telescope did more than take a pretty picture. It lifted the veil on one of the strangest visitors ever to cross our path. And what it showed could change how we think about interstellar objects, how planetary systems form and how life might spread across the galaxy. For years, interstellar visitors were streaks and blurs, here and gone before our instruments could get a good look. Oumuamua zipped through in 2017 and left more questions than answers. Borisov in 2019 behaved more like a classic comet but still broke rules. 3i Atlas is only the third recognized interstellar object and until now it risked joining that same category of mysteries we could not resolve. Then Webb turned its gold mirror on it. The result is not a dim streak against a crowded star field. It is a resolvable body with surface texture, a visible halo of outgassing and spectral fingerprints that led to a new conversation overnight. Webb has an unfair advantage. Sitting beyond Earth's atmosphere, it sees without distortion. Its instruments record faint glimmers and subtle contrasts no ground observatory can capture. In the new image, Atlas is not just present, it is alive. The surface shows reflective patches that hint at volatile ices sublimating under the sun's gentle heat. Darker scars and irregular shapes trace a history of fractures and micro-impacts. It looks part comet and part asteroid. That duality says something important about its origin. A body like this could have formed in the outer reaches of a distant star system, rich in ice and dust, then been thrown free by the gravity of giants. It is an object born in cold, ejected in chaos and still carrying the building blocks of two worlds. The halo that surrounds Atlas is a faint but distinct coma, a cloud of gas and dust that says clearly this is an active traveller. It is not as flamboyant as the plumes of large solar comets, but the presence of a halo at all is the headline. It means this object preserved volatile compounds for a journey that likely took millions of years. Those compounds are now being released under sunlight that warmer locals take for granted. That is priceless. It is a pristine sample of interstellar material unprocessed by billions of years trapped in a solar system. In that sense, Atlas is a time capsule carrying the chemistry of its birthplace across the gulf and opening the lid right in front of us. Webb did not stop at a clear portrait. Its spectrographs split the light reflected and emitted by Atlas into bands that tell us what it is made of. Early analysis points to a mix of familiar and unfamiliar. Water ice is there, but it is intermixed with organic molecules that don't show up often in our comets. Some of those organics may represent pathways to larger chemistry, the kind that gets called prebiotic once it sits on the surface of a warm world with weather. If those molecules turn out to be robust enough to survive interstellar travel and lively enough to react in new environments, they strengthen the case that wanderers like this are messengers. They do not carry life, they carry a starter kit. Size matters more than it used to. Oumuamua was a slender, elongated fragment only a few hundred meters long. Borisov was small by comet standards. Atlas measures several kilometers across. That makes it a full-fledged nucleus, not a shard. Surviving violent ejection from a home system is easy for tiny bits. It is not easy for bodies measured in kilometers. Seeing one cross interstellar space intact tells us something about how dynamic planetary systems can be and how often they might fling such pieces into the dark. The path Atlas follows through our system confirms its origin in the simplest way. It travels a hyperbolic arc, a one-time curve past the Sun that will not repeat. It is not bound. It will leave and never return. That knowledge adds weight to the urgency of what Webb caught. Without this telescope and its timing, Atlas might have remained a blur with a lot of mysteries on the edges. Now it is a benchmark, a case study that scientists will be citing for decades. Comparisons give context. Where Oumuamua's strange shape and non-gravitational acceleration lit theories of artificial design, Atlas looks more conventional in outline and chemistry, though it keeps enough surprises to make you lean in. Where Borisov acted like a normal comet with interstellar tags, Atlas splits the difference. These contrasts do not cancel each other out. They highlight variety. Other systems are not copies of ours. They will produce debris that doesn't line up in neat categories. Webb's image proves each visitor is a one-time chance to peer into another world's history. 
Webb also set the stage for a short, sharp debate. A fast-moving object, roughly the size of Manhattan, is on track to make a close pass to Earth in December, and some voices, including a Harvard astrophysicist known for pushing the debate forward, have argued that there is a strong likelihood that Atlas is artificial. The argument hinges on brightness that implies a solid body around 20 kilometers across if it simply reflects sunlight much larger than earlier interstellar objects and on a trajectory that aligns too cleanly with the plane of the planets. The question behind both observations is a fair one. Was this designed? There is not enough evidence to say yes. There is now enough detail to press the tests that could finally turn such claims into numbers rather than headlines. Surface texture in the image is not just pretty. It maps active regions. Infrared views penetrate thin dust and show thermal contrasts across the body. Bright patches are likely jets, the places where ice turns to gas and carries dust into the coma. Mapping those patches reveals how the object is structured under the crust. It tells us where volatiles concentrate and where rock dominates. That in turn informs models of how it formed. It also sets the scene for what will happen as it tumbles past the sun. Rotation matters too. Subtle asymmetries in the brightness reveal how Atlas spins. Instead of a clean roll, it seems to tumble. That could be the result of gravitational scrapes during ejection or the slow push of jets over ages. Many solar system bodies eventually stabilize under long-term influences. Atlas did not have that luxury. A chaotic spin tells you it lived a noisy life. The colors in the composite image are not simply visual choices. Underlying data show sharp variations in reflectivity across the surface. Some patches look coated with carbon-rich compounds that absorb sunlight and look dark in the infrared. Other regions shine because they hold water ice or silicate minerals. This mosaic of materials paints a story of gathering and loss, of a body that collected pieces from different parts of its system before being thrown free. It looks less like a homogeneous snowball and more like a geological quilt. Back in the spectrograph, exotic organics keep drawing eyes. They do not match patterns typical in our comets. That suggests chemistry that arose under different radiation, elemental abundance or temperature. Some signatures may be entirely new. Chemists now have fresh puzzles to solve and astrobiologists now have new fuel for the idea that the seeds of life are widespread and varied. These compounds are not evidence that life rides in on the backs of comets. They are evidence that chemistry robust enough to matter does. Atlas's arc through our system lets astronomers point back in time and space. Precise measurements of its motion, combined with ground data, let you project the path backward and align it with a likely origin. Early studies suggest ejection from a star-forming region millions of years ago, then a long drift without changes big enough to erase the signature. That story ties Atlas to the big dynamics. Stars and planets interact. Big bodies throw small bodies across the void. Atlas is not an accident. It is a product and a witness. Outside of the lab, the image has already done what images do best. It has sparked wonder. The sight of an interstellar traveler, sharp and real instead of fuzzy and implied, brings the galaxy into reach. Somewhere, a planetary system we will never see gave birth to this object. Somewhere, forces we can model but not visit, tore it away and sent it on a line that crosses our neighborhood. Looking at a single frame lets you feel that line in your bones. Webb's achievement also puts new edges around ambition. Today we observe. Tomorrow we intercept. The notion of sending a fast mission to meet the next visitor is no longer only science fiction. If we can launch quickly enough, there is a chance to scoop material, drill or just ride alongside long enough to watch chemistry and structure at scales instruments on Earth can only infer. Webb's image is a spark for those dreams. It shows what is possible when your best machine is ready to pivot. It is worth pausing on what had to work for this to happen. Webb's mirror had to unfold and align perfectly in deep space. Instruments had to be tuned to pick out faint sources and remain stable. The platform had to hold still against the smallest drift. Precision engineering across disciplines got us here. Every pixel in Atlas's portrait is the product of that chain. That matters because it tells you how close to the edge of possible we already stand and how far we can push it. Planetary science will not be the same after this. Atlas adds a new data point that does not fit cleanly into a solar system story. Scientists use comets and asteroids to infer the solar system's past. With Atlas, there is now a direct sample of another system's path. Similarities point to common rules. Differences point to local exercises of those rules. If isotopic ratios in Atlas diverge from ours, that says the nurseries were different. If they match, then the recipe for certain materials is universal. Either answer teaches. Exoplanet science gains a new partner. 
Webb is already probing distant atmospheres for methane, water and carbon dioxide. Now it has begun to map the solid remnants of other systems up close. Put those together and you start to see not only planets weather, but the leftovers that build them. That pairing will help scientists compare not just stars and planets, but the fields of debris that shape their skies. Panspermia The idea that life's ingredients travel between stars and perhaps even life itself under special conditions has been around for a long time. It has not had a machine like Webb looking straight into its heart before. The organics on Atlas give the idea new weight. They are not proof of life, they are proof of a delivery mechanism sturdy enough to matter. If early Earth was visited by bodies like this, that might have mattered more than we thought. There's a deeper thread here. Atlas has likely travelled for millions of years, passing through clouds, skimming past nebulae, soaking up cosmic rays, perhaps even carrying the isotopic fingerprints of supernova shock waves. Its chemistry may record a timeline of galactic events. Web sensitivity lets astronomers start to read that record. That does not just tell you about Atlas, it tells you about places it passed through that no telescope can map directly. Gravitational choreography brought Atlas to our attention. For an object to leave one star system and cross into ours, its path had to be just right. It is easy to calculate how rare that is. It's harder to watch it happen. Small changes could have kept Atlas fun away, instead the dance aligned. Luck always plays a part. Preparation turns luck into a portrait. The image is not an end, it is a beginning. Models of thermal properties, rotation and surface erosion are being refined. Laboratory work will follow as teams try to reproduce spectral features. Surveys will change cadence to catch the next one earlier. Webb has shown that when your best tool is ready, a fleeting visitor can become a case study rather than a footnote. This is the pivot point. Interstellar space is not empty. It is alive with travelers. Each carries a story from a different star. For the first time, we can see one clearly enough to decode that story. That changes more than a line in a paper. It changes how we see our place in a galaxy that is not a collection of islands, but a web of motion and exchange. Tell me what you think Webb has revealed about 3i Atlas. Does the hybrid character make sense to you? Do the organics shift your view of panspermia? Share your thoughts in the comments. If this deep dive made you feel that tug of wonder, like the video, send it to someone who loves the night sky and subscribe with notifications on. The next visitor might already be on the way and I'll be here to break down what we learned.